Welcome to the video about integrated pest management. Today we talk about the definition of IPM, the goals of IPM and the IPM pyramid. Finally, Dr. Barbara Corrigan, one of the world's most renowned urban rodent experts, and Henry Mott, SEPA president, make a statement. So what is actually IPM? Integrated Pest Management or IPM is a long-term prevention process you can use to solve pest problems in a company, institution or building while minimizing risks to people and the environment. There are essentially three main aspects. First, preventing pest infestation by prevention, so hygiene activities. Second, monitoring the situation with regards to pest. This includes detecting an infestation. And third, controlling a pest infestation in the most environmentally friendly way. So the secret of IPM is the cooperation of the client and the pest control company to follow these three aspects. The aim of IPM. IPM aims to keep the use of pesticides at the lowest possible level to give preference to sustainable biological, physical or other non-chemical methods if they lead to a satisfying result. What is the IPM pyramid? The classical procedure of IPM is shown here in a pyramid with four steps. First, cultural and hygiene measures. So, step one is to make rodents and insects uncomfortable with access to the warehouse or the interior of a building. This is done through good hygiene. After that, pests should have as little chance as possible to enter the building. This includes well seat windows, doors or repairs to the facade. Second, physical and mechanical control. The next step is to deter pests, for example by using repellents or by using a snap trap, the most commonly pest product worldwide. Here there is the possibility of using sprays or foams which smell so incredibly bad for the rodents or insects that it's no longer worthwhile to break in. Third, biological control. Biological control is the use of natural enemies, for example predators or parasites to control pests and their damage. Fourth, pesticides. In IPM, pesticides are used only when needed and in combination with other approaches for more effective long-term control. Pesticides are selected and applied in a way that minimizes their possible harm to people, non-target organisms and the environment. With IPM, you will use the most selective pesticide that will do the job and be the safest for other organisms and for the air, soil and water quality. As you have noticed, these steps are shown in a pyramid. The top has the smallest area, so the measures in the base with the largest area should be the most significant. Already many well-known faces from the pest control industry stand behind IPM and take a position. As for example, Dr. Bobby Corrigan, who said in an interview, so I'm a firm believer, Danielle, in, in IPM because it, it is sustainable and it really is a service that will carry itself long into the future, you know, when we perform it. So IPM is not cheating on people or about the fact that you don't want to help people the best way you can do. It is about doing an effective long-term process to control pests, especially with the monitoring part, which makes an important contribution to successful pest management. IPM is still greatly underappreciated in the industry and its importance has not yet been realized in detail. Finally, Henry Mott, the president of SEPA, the European Pest Management Services Trade Association, explains in a few seconds what the SEPA initiative wants to achieve and why the memorandum is so important. So you consider yourself to be a professional pest manager? That's great. You practice an integrated management approach in all your work? That's great too. Your customers respect and recognize the high standards of your work. Even better. Well, now it's time to tell the rest of the world about how and why you and your professionalism matter. So don't delay. Sign that MOU today. Thank you.